Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Card Crawl Adventure, a roguelite card game with some deck building elements. It, they make a note to say that it's not a roguelike deck builder, so I'm curious to see what exactly this interpretation is going to be here. But we're going to be popping on in to check out the demo here today, ahead of its release. We have a. Uh, ooh! We can pick uh, some different characters, it seems like. I mean, I'm always a pick-the-first-one-first first kind of guy. Scoundrel. Not the most talkative adventurer, but her daggers are swift and deadly. The scoundrel's starting item is the Hidden Blade. Deal bleed to the first monster that you attack each turn. Okay. And we have a couple character cards unique to us. I mean, let's just pop on in. What is this? Start your adventure with extra health and uh, strength. Uh, it seems like maybe like an easy mode or like a Hades God mode style system. It's cool that it's there. I'm not going to use it, but I'm I'm I like that it exists. Turns off achievements and online leaderboards. That's it. I mean, hey, I like it. Why not? Right? Doesn't harm me. Doesn't affect my gameplay. But let's pop on in. The Drinking Ox. The tavern has no house rule. Defeat the tavern boss and complete the quest to earn extra rewards. Boss. <laughs> uh, the boss has no name. I'm not saying that. Uh, select all cards in a turn. Reward one. Okay. So we've got ourselves a grid. I believe that the uh, the developer has made other games in the past that are similar. That I think I have seen. Like it's kind of got the uh, the, the card dungeon crawling element where you. Uh, I'm assuming drag through or, or yeah, we will click our way through. Um, so enemies have, let's see, they have got their own health. We got health. We got strength of some kind and money. Deal a damage, deal one damage, deal one damage and one extra damage to the next monster. Endure triggers when the turn ends, triggers when damaged, adds a monster. Okay. I guess we we probably want to take them out then. So we can also get... Let's see, there's a key fragment. Nothing to really worry about there. Deal bleed to all currently selected enemies. For every monster with bleed, gain a strength back. So it seems like maybe attacking an enemy seems to be giving us a little bit of... Uh... Okay, hold on. A little bit of strength down. Bleed to all already selected enemies. So if we move through like this, it uses up a lot of our strength. Uses up all of it. But if I press this, they're all bleeding. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can hit this to get five strength back. All right, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay, uh, gotcha. Select all cards in a turn. So that was already, that was still there. Why? Maybe I just didn't do enough damage. Ambush triggers once uh, the ability, once the card is drawn, applies curse. A friendly card with curse increases its st strength by one. Does that just mean that it takes two strength to uh, to attack? Seems to probably be the case. Uh, endure a monster gets health. So we want to make sure we definitely kill them. Connect with the other key fragment to assemble a key. Ah, so did I mess up by by selecting that other key fragment because I didn't connect it in the same line? I think that's probably the case. All right. So we could... Yeah, we kind of just do one damage naturally when we pick up this. If we otherwise, we don't do any damage at all. So that sets our basic attack to one. I would really like to get these fools out of here. So part of me thinks we go like this, because you are bleeding, and then we go up here. So those are dead, and then we could attack this to do what? 
We just do one damage. That's fine. Because we can move down here to get the uh, the five strength. Oh, yours is on revenge. That's fine. Get the five strength. Say sure, why not? Okay. Boss wave. Bonfire. While the cards get shuffled, you rest for a moment and warm your hands at the tavern's crackling bonfire. So we can replenish our health. Uh, add. It looks like I add a bonfire card. Heal five. Or gain a money. I'm just going to gain a money. Sounds good to me. Unlock. I. Do I need. The, I'm assuming I need the key to do that. Revenge block. That blocks any damage. The block status of a card is removed when it's discarded. I will note that these guys all still have bleed on them. So they went back in the deck. They got shuffled. But the bleed stayed. That's pretty exciting. Uh, okay. Well... Triggers this ability when the card is not selected at the end of a turn. So you guys are dying anyways. You have ambush, so I'm not that worried about it. Oh god, I do nothing to you. Wait, I have no way to do damage to anybody else. <laughs> uh, can I just end it here? I guess I think that that would be better for me if, if I just say, sure, that's it. Because we might get the, um... So this got frost on it. Card with freeze cannot be discarded after uh, being selected. Ah, okay. So we have to select this for it to go away. There's some situations where you could definitely use that to uh, your advantage. Do bleed to all currently selected cards. So why am I taking a damage there? Oh, because you have that ability. That's just what you do. Probably fine. So why select them, though? Can I select them and... Uh, they just take one energy normally? All I know is I definitely want to attack this guy because it's more or less pretty free. He takes one, but we got to do that. And I'm assuming bleed can't stack. I don't know for sure, but... Let's take a look here. Uh, we'll go this way and press it. Why does that uh, do damage to you there? I have no idea. Do you bleed to the first monster you attack each turn? Well, I mean, I kind of like hitting this here. Regardless. That's dying anyways. Yeah, I don't know why that's changing them. But I'll tell you what, I'm just going to get rid of this. Because the Endure, that does not go off. I kind of want to make sure I get the keys here. Ambush, a monster gains health. Endure, a monster gains health. Oh, that's so annoying. So there's the key fragment. I need this guy gone. Each monster with bleed. I mean, I guess I could just, like, go through the whole thing and heal. Like, we could get rid of the apple that way. Wouldn't be that big of a deal. If we just kind of do the whole thing. Is it really that big of a deal? I mean, I'm sure we could do it in a better path. Like this. Where we actually end up on the apple and at full health. Sure. So what happens... It seems like maybe we take damage if we try and do something that requires strength and we don't have it. Seems like we're taking damage. 
Uh, replenish your character strength. That seems really nice right now. Remove the strength cost of all cards this turn. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what that... I, I have no idea what that would mean otherwise. So where do you see the strength cost of the card? Is it just the one? I'm guessing... I guess it's probably just the one. Add a card to your deck. Unlock the treasure chest. Okay. Works for me. Arr! Okay. Select a treasure reward. Ambush. Gain three coins. Adjacent cards increase strength by two. Last gain three. When is the last card selected? Endure. Gain one gold for every creature defeated. Oh, that's kind of interesting. But I think that we're done, so I don't know if it mattered. Well, if we're done, then I guess this might be the only way to get money. Maybe this will flip over. Choose a card to add to your deck. Uh, destroy this card. Triggers the ability when it's destroyed. It has three health. Loot a random card. Destroy when destroyed. Deal three damage and bleed to all monsters. That seems good. At the very least, it seems thematically appropriate for the character I'm playing. And that goes away. Do we get another draw? We do indeed, and we got that extra thing. So... Um, cost one strength. I feel like that easily could have cost uh, a hell of a lot. Okay, so I guess we're still going. It looks like... Uh, so what do we have? We're two, we're two out of three. I think we're two out of three shuffles. Is it... Do we? Maybe we lose at the end of that or something. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, deal a damage and a bleed... To the next monster or obstacle. I mean, I'm kind of happy to uh, hit that. Question is, how do I go about this? If we go up this way and go back through, that's not bad. That works for me. We still have four strength. We get four strength back. We are at full health. That works for me. I don't mind it. Yeah, you're punks. Add a bonfire card. Remove the strength cost of all three. Three and three. Replenish health. I don't need health back. So this is a card, though. It's not an instant. I kind of like going for the sweeping motions. But this is kind of a good catch-all. Okay, so that goes in the deck. This is the final shuffle, yeah? Final shuffle. Good or bad. Deals one damage. That's pretty much going to happen no matter what, though. There was that card that did damage to an adjacent unit. but that's not something I got for now. We just sweep. We just sweep right through. Then we add bleed, and then we get this back. No, we're taking... Okay, wait. Why are we taking a lot of damage when I do this? Why do I take two damage when I do this? Because it costs two strength. Oh my god, the strength buff on those from that greed card is permanent. Oh, no. 
Well, I guess I don't need to go for them. I mean, at least it's permanent for, like, right now. Shoot. Yeah, that costs two now. It, it just it just costs two forever, I guess. This costs nothing. Good. I guess we probably want all of those out of the way. And this I'm like, is it worth the two maybe? To get my strength back up? Like, I'm, I'm maybe likely to find an apple or something. It's not great. I could have started down here, so, like, I would have, I could have attacked somebody else. I could have got one more bleed. There's the apple. And a five heal. Gain three and three exhaust. Okay. We can, we can go kind of wild here, then. So, I sort of want to take... Ironically, I kind of want to take more damage for a second. Okay, I can't I can't make that bleed. That checks out. Okay. Good. Do I want to deal bleed to all? I'm just doing bleed to one. I don't think it's. I don't think it matters. There's no other card I'm selecting that's gonna make it better. So you add a monster into this, which just makes it so it takes longer to get to the end. Am I looking for an exit? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Last exit the tavern. Pay one. Rest, deal zero damage. When not selected. Uh, okay, so are you, you're just here to say, like, freaking leave, jerk? That's kind of your thing? I guess that's the idea. I mean, I suppose I'm out, then. I'm out of here. Can I just select this and be done? No. Can I go... Okay, I could, that, I could be done there. Is there any benefit to killing things? Not really. We'll just kick it then. Get out of here. You defeated the boss, you completed the tavern quest, and you collected the tavern treasure. Okay. Tavern reward. Choose and add a new equipment item, a new tavern charm. Or improve one of your character cards. I don't know what any of those mean. Oh, this is probably equipment. I don't know what a charm is. Let's find out. Is it No, this is a charm. When you deal frost when you deal ice damage, fifty percent chance to freeze the attacking freeze the attacking card. Fifty percent chance to kill a monster and lose a strength at the start of the turn. Fifty percent chance to deal a curse when you deal a damage. Uh, a friendly card, a friendly card with curse increases its strength by one. An enemy decreases it by one. Oh, that seems really good. I don't get all of them, do I? No, okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Just making sure. Uh, merchant rewards. We have six gold. Remove a card from your deck and add one of three random neutral cards. Increase your max HP by two. Remove the strength cost of a card. I can do multiple. I can do both. I can do two. I can do almost any two. I can't do both of these, but... Let's say what. Let's start with this one. Choose a card to modify. So this is one where we're removing one. Oh, I don't know if I don't know if I in hindsight I don't know that I really wanted to. 
Remove one here. I don't think I can get rid of the heal. Oh, this is bad. So this is actually not quite as good, in a way. Because there's no... The, the big difference between these, there's no period right here. That's important. This deal one damage, but not saying to the next target, is a big difference. This means deal one damage to everything you select. This means deal one damage to the next thing you select and make it bleed. Um, I'm actually... I guess I'm going to get rid of that one for now. I... To be clear, I like it. I wish that I... Wait. Uh, strike. Triggers the ability instantly without selecting a target first. Deal bleed to all monsters. Well, I mean, there you go. That's pretty solid. Deal zero damage after selecting a spell. Increase the sword by its strength cost. That's irrelevant for right now. I'll go with that. That seems really nice. It does cost a strength. The hell? Oh, and we can't buy both things. Discover two new taverns. After you that, you can decide which one you want to visit. Like, what's this about? One out of five. One of five. What out of one out of five characters? Beaten. Uh. What the heck? Uh. Oh, we are discovering two. It's telling us to discover two and then pick one. Okay, gotcha. Well, we'll just go with the ones that have the three for now, because who knows? Take me to the gnarled root, probably. Uh, big bad bat, awake. Do one damage to a monster and gain its health. Oh, that's kind of fun. Random monster or obstacle that becomes immune to frost. I mean, hey, that's fine. What's over here? Awake deals frost freeze to the adjacent cards. Uh, house rule, random monster gains health at the end of the turn. That actually seems like a pretty big problem for uh, for us. Complete the tavern in less than 20 turns. That shouldn't be too bad. I think I can do that. This is, wait, this is an extensive demo. I really would have expected the demo to just be like, you're done now. Bye-bye. After what I just did um so i can literally just press that now everything's bleeding endure defeat adjacent seven adjacent monsters to unlock it and it's cursed which i thought meant that oh well whatever For each monster with bleeding, take a curse. Or take a take a strength up. Which should be a decent amount. So we can hit this. Kill that. Get this. So that's a cursed apple now. I think that's okay. Unless I wanted to kill the adjacent I do want to I might as well hit this for the one apple is used up it's okay this works for me so did the, does this count as adjacent no wait it only went down to six I thought it was at seven what was it? Was it nine? Revenge. Block damage when attacked by one by one card or less. So if I what I mean if I did this? So like are you saying I literally need two card two attack cards? It's not that bad though. It's not that big of a deal. Because I, I bleed, so that fixes that a little bit. Get the five strength up there. Let's make sure we hit you with the hit you first so we get the bleed. One curse. 
So yeah, that guy just doesn't take he just doesn't take any strength to to attack. Same there. Bleed to everybody. And I think we call it there. I don't think we I don't think we waste the strength potion there. That seems stupid. Add a bonfire, remove the strength cost of all cards this turn. I think that's probably going to be the best bet. Especially if we're going for aggro, because we want to get, like, uh... Is that, uh, what is up here? Okay, okay. Completed in 20 turns or less. 20, 20, okay. If I hit this, I do... Uh, damage to everybody on the map. The thing is, I feel like I'll want that in the future more than I want that right now. Same deal. Just kind of want to save a lot of the stuff there. Or, yeah, with that guy who would do damage to me. I care. Take a hit. Endure, defeat six, an adjacent six monsters. Am I not defeating six adjacent monsters? What's going on here? Like, I could have sworn I killed an adjacent monster. What does adjacent mean to you? What does adjacent mean to you? This is so adjacent. So is this. All right. Either way. That would be a kill for one damage on me. I mean, you're dying too. Like this, honestly, this is everything I need. Reach monster with bleed. Heal. Like, let's just be done there. To defeat a monster, can they not die to bleed? I'm livid if that's the case. Uh, discard. Triggers the ability when the card gets discarded. Deals 5 damage when selected first or last. Oh, he costs a lot of strength. Oh, you know what? He'll do that. Move up here just for a second. Ow. Look at the apple. Again, not def I guess the defeated. I guess I can't kill them with bleed. No, that one worked. I'm. I give up. I give up. I don't know. Money. Okay, so the bat might come out now to play. Indeed. Ah. Uh. Okay. Breach monster with bleed gain one. Sure. And then we're adding a card to the deck. We still got this saved here. We're not going to be killing this. This is a lost cause. Deal two ice damage. Deal frost freeze to the next target. Two energy costs. Deal a bleed, uh, uh, an attack and a bleed. I don't think I need that, though. Deal one damage. The next sword does double. What's your deal? An ally. Okay, I'm, I'm taking you just to figure out what your deal is. I'm literally just taking you for that reason. Welcome aboard, frog boy. Okay. So we get to use that twice now. That You, you kind of just helped me. Can I select this? I can... Okay, I can just move through that, more or less. I can't let that get discarded. 
Everybody's already bleeding. I don't know why I would care there. So yeah, we theoretically get to use that a second time too. That's so good. Thank you for freezing that, nerd. <clears throat> I mostly couldn't care less about any of that. Cool. Awake deals burn to player card. Just one damage to your player when selected. And it's doing it in the form of um, strength. Because it normally costs one, it costs one extra. Gotcha. You're annoying, though. Screw you. Just do that, and everybody's already bleeding. Don't damage the next sword. Eh. Am I killing that guy? Nope. This way? That way? I guess the bleed can be done last. It's more or less irrelevant. Okay. It's fine. That fool. Why do you have bleed on you? Like, you can take... You can't take damage. I don't think. Right? There's the... Okay, there's the chest card. We should have maybe selected it earlier so we could have a chance to, uh, to get it open. Eh. It's fine. We actually do take a damage there. Hello, you. Yeah, so he comes out to play right at the end. This fool again? Pay a coin, rest deals damage, and increase damage by one. Okay. And he costs, and he costs two energy. Okay, so basically, I don't want to stay here. Like, that's what's keeping me from just sort of, um, stalling around and just doing that over and over. Does it cost energy to leap? I guess we just... There's no reason to do it that way. I just felt like it. We took a damage. Oh, no. Shouldn't really matter, right? We get full yield, I can only assume. Yeah, I did not get the treasure chest open. It was... I guess uh, I wasn't defeating them. I guess I don't know. I, I don't fully know why I wasn't defeating them. Does it need to be selected? I don't know. Okay, I definitely want to, as much as like I do like this, I want to pick one of these other ones. An equipment item. That bunny is terrifying. Improve a card. All right, I'm curious about this system. Uh, strike. Deal bleed to all enemies. It's just the... That literally just makes it the same as that other one. This is big. This... Making it so that it also gives us health. Wait, but it also makes it cost something, doesn't it? I don't know if it costs... I don't think it cost an energy before. Still, worth it. Uh, eight... Gold, remove a card, add one of three, improve a character card, add a new equipment item. Again, just to see. Oh, what's the difference between um, between this and one of these then? Gain five power if you use three or more different attack cards in a turn. When you kill three or more monsters in a turn, deal three dollars, three dollars, three damage to all remaining monsters at the end of the turn. 
First dagger selected each turn won't get discarded. I like that for us. We have a we have a couple daggers, I think. Discover a new tavern. One of these two. Uh Are you really you're letting me play this much? In the demo? Let me check. Did I buy their full game? No, it's not out in, it's not out in full game in full until March. This is a demo? This is one of the most generous like I guess it I guess it's only been 35 minutes. It feels like it's been, you know, like so much content that I've played through in that short amount of time. So wow. Uh Mogor. Endure calls for the Ogre Guards. Random player card gets cursed at the start of the turn. Spooky. Start a shuffle. Start shuffle three. Shuffle number three with less than five power. That's very specific. So what's the deal here? Could I theoretically... I can't do this again. Gotcha. So what's with the two out of five trophies? Oh, is it like you you have to do five you have to get five wins and this is just this was win number one, win number two. Maybe that's the case. Hello, Mogor. What you making, buddy? I don't think I have as many swords as I thought. So this is cursed, so this would that costs two. Destroy, loot, a treasure. Endure, discard. Oh. He's a loot goblin. Treasure imp. Over the course of the entire time here, I might be able to do it. One damage. Endure. There's a. There's so much going on here that I'm not going to be able to get. I mean. Wait. Why would I even. Uh, oh, that would be so that I can do a damage to this. Because otherwise I do zero. Oof. Not good. Not good, not good at all. I think this card could probably go by go at this point. I, I think that there's... I have a lot of ways to apply bleed to everybody. I feel like I don't need that way to do so. This card is really good now. Fine, I'll, I'll just do that. I'll do a damage to this to try and set it up for later. I'll try, I'll try. Revenge. Deals burn to a card. So that shouldn't proc revenge, right? That might. Is this not does this not kill it? I would have sworn that would kill. You have how much health? You have four. So I'll do this. I'll use one there, and then I'll do this. Okay, yeah, it does kill everything. Okay, screw you then. So that's used up already, though. It just seemed like an efficient time to use it. The next attack does double. I think re removing the uh, strength cost sounds really nice when I have to deal with all these curses. So that's a spell. This should be a dagger. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's zapped so it doesn't do anything. Endure discard. Oh, so this is zapped, so this will actually stay for a turn, which is nice. That being said, I don't know what to 
do here. Deals some damage. Endure deals some damage. I mean, darn if you do, darn if you don't on that one. Let's think. How do I... I wanted to hit both. But I don't want to hit the apple last. Shoot. Net loss. I mean, I guess that's fine. Yeah. Get bleed going on everybody. Endure increases the strength of a card by one. Don't love that. Awake all monsters gain two health in four turns. All right. So this is not a sword. It is a dagger. Maybe it still does... Nope, it does two damage. Okay. Five. Oh, you jerk. Okay, we'll save that for last then. Get out of here. And so this should stay because of our item, which is nice. We actually did kill two. Okay, good. I know that, to be clear, I have figured out and I do understand that um, when you, if you select them and you don't kill them in a turn, they do just go back into the deck. Understood. I think we can be, I think we can be fine with the strength, especially since we want to be at uh, zero or under three. Less than five. Oh, that's not that bad at all. That's not that bad at all. Um. Well, I guess I kind of want to kill them. Then, I, I suppose, right? Should I get rid of the apple? Let's just give me the whole thing. So that one's dead. That one's not. We've killed almost enough. Deal zero burn. De increase it by one for every spell in your deck. I think I have a couple. That's a spell. That's a spell. I have two. It's expensive, though. It does cost two. Deal one damage triple to objects. I actually really like that, especially with my uh, my bear trap. That one shots my bear trap. And there's a couple of things that, that that'll be nice for. Cursed. Rude. Strike bleed to all. Mm, a couple aren't bleeding. Okay, so after this, who's going to be alive? Hmm. Do I want to freeze that? Not really. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to be entering the shuffle. So I guess I don't want to heal too much. Or are we entering the shuffle? We could be. I can't tell how many are here. Five. Which means I want to use six cards. Which means maybe I want to use this first. Oh, 
Oh god. Three or less? Less than five. Oh my god, it's so easy. I keep on getting worried about it, but it's actually not difficult. Okay. This guy's dying already, I'm pretty sure. From the bleed, but oh well. Okay. Boss boy. Active. Oh boy. So he's got adds that he will summon if I do something. Deals two damage, aura. Affects the target card as long as the card's on the game board. More Mogor is immune to damage if this is here. That's really frightening. And I don't have uh I don't have very much healing or things to do. This is actually really grim. Is this cursed in a good way? I'm assuming no. Not really. Ow. Ow, but. If we do that now, it's kind of a, it's a heal. It's a net gain then. It has to be current. Stop it. it. Has to be currently selected. So can I do this in a way? I'd have to select the entire map, wouldn't I? To get one more. I'm actually okay with this. This is not bad. That's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal to me. Replenish health. Next attack does double. I feel like I've got plenty of... Um, money at this point. Seems like based off of how much things cost, it's like not that bad. Oof. So how many have bleed? Aura adjacent cards increase strength by one. That is painful. So you don't have bleed yet. You're a different one. Cost two. Oh, brother. Endure calls for the ogre guards. He has he costs three strength to to attack. Is that true? Okay, well I can make him cost two to attack. Fantastic. Uh, that's a lot of health to get through. So don't want to do that. Man, that is pretty wretched. But I want to get the bleed on this guy. If I uh, if I attack through this way, I don't think it works. No. God, this is just this is just bad. I don't know what else to say. This is just bad. That's two into five two. This is 5-3. I guess so. This sucks. Okay, but they at least have the bleed on them there. Maybe we can get through. Okay, good. I mean, screw you for cursing me, but... I hate that. All monsters gain two health. Oh my god, two health in a turn? 
Can I do this into that? Well, I mean, I'm missing a health. I, I might as well take a damage somewhere. If I'm going to be doing it that way. I do need to get rid of this. Otherwise, like, two extra health to all of them is a big problem. Like, there, this is just a really, really grim scenario. Like, the fact that they hit my curse as well is really painful. That's going to be nice. Okay. <sighs> I mean, finally getting... I mean, we would get rid of both of these. That's really big. I think I might die if I do that right now. Let's just... I feel like getting rid of the guards... is pretty good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is more workable. Not great. His ability's gone. I need to clear out some cards. First dagger. Is this a dagger? Dude, I can't do anything here. Ah! Ah! This thing is ruining my life. I need to have a better path out there. Give me a surprise heal or something. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, when you, warning, when you restart a lost tavern, your adventure won't be recorded and you can't complete achievements or complete competing online main course. That's very cool that you can do that. I love that it's an option, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that was a brutal one right at the end there. Uh, that is an extremely generous demo. I highly recommend checking it out, uh, for sure, for sure. But alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today for Card Crawl Adventures. Uh, Adventure Singular. Uh, really, really, really good time. It's like a, I played a lot of games in the same realm as this, kind of going for like a minimalist traversal through cards, like the dungeon is a deck laid out on uh, the table like a grid. I've played a lot of games in this style, but this has some really elegant complexities and puzzly nature to it that I think is um, serving something fresher uh, and something new that I have not seen while being very very familiar at the same time uh yeah i i think it's i think it's really promising uh not to mention the fact that there's obviously different characters things like that uh there's lots of ex like accessibility set uh settings not settings uh options that i enjoy that you don't have to touch at all really easily like uh instead of being like oh yeah just now you're stronger now you're stronger now you're stronger every single run and like it's not going to be difficult or whatever in the future it's just uh, something you can opt into if you want or not opt into. And I, I really enjoy that. Do they really have, like, all of these characters already? This, this is just... This is nuts. This is for a demo? I can't believe this. Uh, yeah, check it out. Link at the top of the description. Very generous demo. Very fun uh, fun time with that there today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. I cover roguelikes and more every single day. If this is a genre you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.